All right, good morning. Welcome back to the vlogs. Sorry I haven't been posting. Well, the last time I posted, I came back from Arizona for Fountain of the Hills, uh, Concourse de Elegance, which was a absolute blast. Should have probably filmed more of the cars there, but I got to see so many cool things. Um, Elon Musk's old F1, um, couple, <coughs> couple other cars, Saline S7, Aston Martin 177. I have never seen an Aston Martin 177 in my life, so I got to check both those off my list. So we are here today in my car, obviously, going to a car show at Porsche Santa Clarita. And from what I hear from one of the workers there is that there's a Diablo GTR in blue, a McLaren Elva, and a couple of Porsche uh, CGTs, Carrera GTs. So, <clears throat> we're gonna start making our way over there now. Car show doesn't start until like nine, but I wanna get there early for um, some good parking and some fresh food, because usually when I get there a little later, the food's not as good. And um, yeah. And by the way, update, my brother got a new car. He got a 2013 Scion FRS over there. Hold on, let me, okay. Why are you not focusing? And there it is. 2013 Scion FRS, and he finally got some new wheels on it. Some NKs, he just needs to lower it. Kinda looks a little too high. <laughs> and he wanted to run 245s in the front, 255s in the rear. Whereas me, I'm running 235s all the way around, so I can have like an equal, you know, an equal corner balance and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna get going to uh, Porsche Santa Clarita for their annual car show every couple months, and uh, we will see what's there. Check back okay, in later. Okay, so we're almost there, and we're trying to catch up to a Ford GT and a GT3 RS right here, both in white. There we go. These guys literally came around the corner out of nowhere, and I was like, what the hell? But it's beautiful. Beautiful and white. So we got a little company to attend for going to the car show today. Which I'm not complaining about. When you see a Ford GT and a Porsche GT3 RS, both in white, that's actually that's actually a really two car solution right there. Beautiful cars. So it's gonna be a good day today at Porsche Santa Clarita. Sounds so good. And look, we got a BRZ in white. We just need my car in white, but unfortunately it's gray. <laughs> and it's not even eight o'clock yet. It's getting a little rowdy. Love it. So yeah, we'll probably cruise with these guys the rest of the way up. Uh, I'm gonna get next to them. There we go. Right there. GT3 and 4 GT. Beautiful. And look at that. In white, you can't go wrong with a 4 GT in white. Let's see if it doesn't look. should be driven not stored in a garage used as investments for their entire lives but hey if you got the money you do whatever you want with cars you know I can't tell you what you can or can't do but yeah we're almost to Porsche Santa Clarita so you just got your first uh, little glimpse of what's gonna be there so it's gonna be a good Finally day park the car way over there there's a GT350 over there and then we got this weird like homemade formula street car over here Definitely, I mean, I've seen it before, but it's like, definitely something to behold. And then the Ford GT and all those guys went over here, so we're gonna go take a look at them right now. We're heading into the underground storage lot, where we got some badass fucking cars already in here. So there's the white Ford GT from earlier. 
Diablo GTR, Elva, P1, bunch of cool stuff in here. I'm gonna try and talk over the music so I don't get copyrighted, but we got 918, CGT, and the thing is both of these are owned by the same person. He's really cool. Now we got a special treat, a Lamborghini Countach just rolled in. Look at that, with the doors open and everything. So they're gonna be parking most of the Lamborghinis over here, where that GTR is. <laughs> this was a day and age where you didn't have a rear view backup camera so you had to stick your head out of the door and back it up without hitting anything <laughs> NAV12 beautiful so I came out from the underground and you'll never guess what came out of that trailer right there in the ground right now so we'll go a couple more cars showing up right now a lot of cool stuff showing up so we're gonna go back into the underground and we'll show you exactly what came off that we got an SVJ 63 edition here with a nice light blue a roadster too bunch of stuff over here, 959, right over here in the corner, still those two Porsches over here, but what really is intriguing me, uh, is look around all the people, beautiful color on the 959, it was the Enzo Ferrari that decided to pop in, right here. was unloaded on the trailer upstairs that I just missed driving down here. So we're gonna stay until the end of the event to watch it drive out. Bunch of other stuff in here. A couple four GTs, this one just rolled in. I was following that one, as you remember on the road. That's one and then there's another one there. Bunch of cool stuff here. Two more Senna's over here, another Senna there, P1, DBS Super Legera Roadster. And then an LFA over here. Really cool. I'm loving the paint scheme on this. And look at the interior. Match the interior. This is so cool. Parked up behind. Imagine if they accidentally hit. That would be so bad. We got this little Viper all alone back here. I'm gonna show some Vipers some love. This thing's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's a stacked house. And then here's the back side of all the others. Or DCs and stuff. That LFA though. Which one would you choose? The LFA for sound or the CGT? Let me know in the comments below. We'll start a little rivalry between which one sounds the best. I personally think LFA. The main lot. Or their secondary lot. Um, it is a bunch of variety here. Ooh, there's my favorite. Subaru hatchback. Right? Oh, yes. LP640 Roadster. Finally a good car. Doing 992 GT3. Very nice. Camaro with the blower. NSX. of the lot. Bunch of stuff still rolling in. We even got some old classics way over there. Old Ford truck. And actually this is a Chevy. That's a Chevy. My bad. <laughs> Bunch of cars. Turf rolling.
AMG bunch of stuff. Ooh, I see an SV way over there. We'll have to go check that out. I mean, it is. We got helicopters flying in through here too. Cherokee. I mean, look, there's just so many fucking cars coming in. That's a Porsche Spider. Okay. Another black series. Okay. And then we got a 612 Scaglietti with the pop up headlights over there. Very cool. Dude, and it's, it's just 10 past, 10 past 9. And all these cars. Got the helicopters in here too. Doing some little flybys. There we go. Black Series, second one of the day. Six Bull Scaglietti. That's cool to see the pop up headlights and all that. I mean, the line just goes and goes and goes. Nardo Gray SV. Okay. Beautiful. Boom. And then you have this. It's like a VW, hold on. We'll, we'll go check this out for a sec. Because I've seen this around. The VW Bug with a truck bed. And I talked to DeLon about this because I've seen this a couple months ago. And I was wondering, I've never seen a Bug with a truck bed. And apparently there's a whole aftermarket company that specializes in making cars like this into trucks. So. So That's pretty interesting. We got a hold up R33 Skyline and we got an orange. Oh no. Hold on. We got to get to 33. I mean, the lot is just full all the way across. So it's going to be good today. There we go. And it's right hand drive. Hell yeah. Huracan, and then a matte orange 360. I have never seen a matte orange color on a 360. What are your thoughts? Yay or nay on the paint? I say nay. This GT3 and there's a 19 and Martini livery over there. We'll go check that out real quick. We got a 918 and the Martini livery. I didn't even know this was here. Very nice. I didn't even know this thing pulled up. It's cool though. Trying to get some better action with it. Got a whole line. Oh! Look at the wheels on this GT3. I know exactly whose car this is too. Owner of Genesis. Bunch of cool stuff out here. A lot of cool stuff. Here. So I got some of the cars leaving. <laughs> Alright, so now people are starting to leave. And we got the P1 over here taking off. There we go. Lagos in one day, which I'm very happy about. So we'll go to the end of the street. We'll get some pulls from some of these cars. I know the P1 and the 918 just left. It's still sitting at the light. But we're definitely going to have to go back and check that uh, LP 640 coupe. There go. There's the P1. Everybody's getting pictures of it while it's sitting here. There it is right there. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. And then 
there's the 918. Way out there. <laughs> he brought the banana suit today. Of course he did. Okay, we got a couple more cars leaving. I'm still not a fan of this orange 360. Like, what he was thinking, I don't know. And then we got a 992 GT3 without the wing, so it's kind of like a touring. What the hell that was all about with the fucking orange 360 on? Maybe they wanted to switch drivers. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, what, do you, what do you think of the car? Huh? What do you think of the car? Like the paint on it. It's a wrap. Or is that plastic? Like, I think it might be plastic. Oh, right now. See now, instead of that 360, we got this GT3. Very beautiful blue. Oh, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. Very nice. Yeah, there you go. Hit them switches. <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah, there you go. Something you never see every day. It's a B7 Alpina. That's actually pretty cool. It says it right there. The wheels and everything. B7 Alpina. You don't see Alpina too much, but... It's a nice GT3. I'm actually digging the stripes on it. I know the Black Series is coming out shortly. And the Senna's leaving too. Very cool. There it is. Little Black Series right there. Honestly, kind of like the new Black Series. There's the Senna.
didn't make the light. Clean M3 on some BBS. A couple more Porsches coming down. Both gold wings down there with the doors up. Everybody's running over there to get a photo of them. <laughs> so nice. Got the gold wing with the doors open. get a view of him leaving. Up here, up there.
right here. Apparently his nickname Ronald McDonald's spec because it's yellow on the outside. It's got red interior on the inside. It's not that bad. This man's vantage, you're missing out. That thing sounds fucking incredible. But it looks like most of the cars are starting to leave. Um, we're probably gonna head out soon. I don't know if any more of the hyper cars are gonna start leaving, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for cars and coffee. It just ended, and everybody is starting to head out. It's a good event. A lot of cool stuff. We'll go in the back lot real quick here. Because I know the LP640 is about to leave. A couple other cars. We got this truck right here. Then so we have that monstrosity. That's our Lambo. and all reliable okay so that was a pretty fun day well, a pretty fun morning I should say um, all right well that was a fun event um, a lot of cool stuff here a uh, bunch of hyper cars showed up in the underground or the Wunderground as it's called um, and Enzo was trailered in so I don't think it's gonna be leaving the same uh, I don't think it's gonna be driving out of here it's gonna be leaving on the trailer uh, which is kind of unfortunate I wish it would um, drive out of here that'd be actually pretty cool to film but everybody seems to be leaving it is five past eleven so um, yeah that's gonna be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed some of the cars um, let me know what car was your favorite out of everything that was filmed today my favorite obviously probably the um, LP 640 Roadster or the coupe the yellow coupe that showed up or the LFA that was underground one of those three. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video.